it's Miguel Barroso again and I'm here with a new tutorial uh, on how to use Newton's Cradle. You've all seen it before in psychiatrist's office in videos and movies and TV and uh, I was inspired uh, to create this I saw a video from uh, Sardi Pax on his physics uh, trial and he actually asked me to set up a tutorial and the point of this tutorial is simply to learn how to create the physics of the actual spheres in Newton's cradle. So let's begin. I'm going to start off by adding a sphere. And the the physics to this is, is unbelievably tricky and wonky and exact. So there's going to be some mistakes made. Please bear with me. Um, I've done this three times and each time it's been completely different when it comes to the physics layout. Okay, so to make it look as good as possible, we'll add a subsurface modifier. In fact, we did it twice. No, that was not necessary. Okay, just two. And let's apply that. And uh, just to make it quick, We'll do the little metal arms that normally hold the sphere, you know, in the whole setup. I'm going to size that on the z-axis by 50. Whoa, hey now, what do we do here? Size it, z by 50. Okay. And a quick mirror modifier on the z-axis. All right, let's see if we got it right. Uh oh, public schools are kicking in again. Hang on. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Rotate that out. Rotate a little bit more. Alright, so you get the general idea. Nothing super fancy. Uh, we're going quick here again because I don't want to make this a super long tutorial, which is unnecessary. And so let's apply that modifier. And I'm going to now join these two objects. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some physics to this object. I tried doing it with the new. Um, I, I tried doing it with the new bullet physics here. I, I just didn't get it right. So I went with the Blender game engine and it worked perfectly. So again, go under the Blender game option. Let's change this from static to rigid body. And we're going to go simple. If I hit P, we're dropping. Okay. And I'm going to give it a mass of 10. And I want it set up that I'm locking all the rotations, Y and Z. I want it only so that it's working on the X axis. This way it doesn't get wonky and shimmy all over the place. Now we're going to add a material. I'm just going to call it Chrome. Okay. And here in the Blender game, engine when it comes to materials physics will also be available and what we're going to do is we're going to give it a I think I used, I used seven last time force we used one okay and the elasticity I had 0.96 um, that very well can differ once we get this going and then we can, we'll just have to tweak everything and in Blender 2.67, they've moved the, the gravity for the world option here in your world option. Okay, I had it at 19. And here for substeps, I had it at 5. Okay, let's just make sure I got everything exactly where I want it to be. Yes, all right. Um, now what we need to do is we need to add a pivot point. So the actual object will pivot here and you give you to get you that nice pendulum swing. To do that, you go under constraints and rigid body joint. 
you want to display it. That doesn't make it easier to see, but if you move the z-axis, you'll see that. And right where that corner is, that's where the pivot point will be in the end. And let's zoom in and bring that up a little bit. Whoop. Okay, and let's go into the other view and see if we're looking good. Okay, and then I want your cursor right there. Let's see if it's exactly where we want it. Yes. Then if you hit period, the widget will be the exact pivot point. So when I hit R to rotate, look what we got. Okay, so I'm going to hit P again. We're no longer dropping. Let's rotate it a little bit. Hit P. Look at that. You gotta love it. Okay. <clears throat> Everything seems set up pretty well. Okay. So now that we have that all set up, I'm gonna copy it and move it over. The trick that I found is you want this to be as absolutely close as possible. I just realized I didn't, I don't know if I check this, mass radius. Just to go over your radius, you want to make sure that your radius, since I didn't change the scale of it, the radius will be perfect. If you move that up, you know, it'll go all over the place, and that's what we're trying to do. Keep it at one, and that'll be at the actual edges of the orb, sphere, whatever you want to call it. It's perfect. You can actually see it right there. That's the radius of the force. <laughs> okay. So the trick again is whoop, hang on, we are all over the place. Okay. Again the trick is to bring this to as close as possible. Without them touching though. I mean again as close as possible. We're talking within a mosquito's butt crack. You know, we're in there. Friends, we've just reached the space of a mosquito's butt crack. Okay. So let's copy two of them. D and the Y axis. Let's get right in there. Okay. And we'll do just one more. Just about done. All right, zoom right out and we still have that widget exactly where we wanted it. Let's rotate this up. Uh oh, what do we got here? Hang on a minute. I have an imposter here. Let's delete that guy. Let's make sure we didn't make any other mistakes. Okay, no mistakes. <coughs> Don't know how he got there, but he didn't belong. All right, let's rotate that baby and see if we get that exact motion that we're looking for. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so where can we change things? What options do we have? We can go into the gravity and change gravity from 19, let's say 30. All 
That was a little bit better. Let's go into the elasticity, try 0.92. That was a little better. Let's try 0 0.90. Whoops. Don't like that. Hmm. Mass we could change. I'm going to pause it and see if we can find out what the actual issue is. Okay, so with this go around, I think we finally figured it out. What I did is, let me just go over the exact settings that we have. I changed the mass for all the objects to 20. The material, friction stayed at 7, at force is still at 1. Elasticity is at 0.96. Gravity. I changed to 15. Substep still stayed at 5. And here's the end result. You can continue tweaking it to make it as natural as possible. I counted off enough bumps to where I was happy with the actual physics. Uh, and there you go. So hopefully this uh, was quick and easy for you. Thanks again for tuning in. And have yourself a good day. Keep on blending.